Hello, it is Friday the 22nd of January 2021. I am Barry Hutchison, also known as JD Kirk. Uh, it is notes from a Scottish author, my ongoing uh, thing, YouTube thing, video and uh, podcast, or something like that. I can't remember. It's a, it's just a thing that I do occasionally, all right? Just get used to it. Uh, it's a candle lighting day today. Candles. It was going to be a song about candles, but I don't know the rest of it. So um, I am back in my normal seat with the webcam thing going. I've also got um, I got a gadget for recording. My microphone plugs into a gadget now for recording audio. Instead of going straight to the computer, it goes via a thing, like a box thing. that lets me do stuff. Like uh, I can just go and get a round of applause at uh, any time I want. Uh, or I can I can do... Uh, ooh. Ooh, thunder. At least I think that's happening, but because I've not got the earphones in, it connects to the box. I don't know. I might just be pressing that button and, uh, and nothing's happening from your perspective. And I'm just sitting here going, ooh, isn't that cool? I can also, so I swear I can go f*** off. I don't think that worked. <laughs> I don't think I timed it right. F*** off. Does that work? I don't know. I can swear and beat myself. Again, I don't know if that worked. I might have just, just, just sworn twice in a row. Uh, and from your perspective, there was no beep. But um, So I don't know. But it's a fun, cool thing anyway, if it works. If it doesn't work, I'm just sitting here gibbering like a madman. And you're going, what the f*** is he talking about? Uh, anyway, uh, Candle, day number three uh, of the Star Wars Return of the Jedi Candle series. Uh, Jabba's Palace, don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's a bit dark. Uh, Jabba's Palace, day three. Um, if you've seen Return of the Jedi, I bet you've got an idea of what Jabba's Palace smells like as well. I always thought it was a bit kind of, a bit um, kind of drug denny. You know, like, a, but like a quite exotic, like an exotic drugs den. Um, people with big hookah pipes and all that stuff. And that's the impression I've always had. Quite an exotic drugs den, but a bit damp. Very damp, actually. Um, so that's what I'm expecting. A damp, exotic drugs den. Uh, let's see. Let's see what it smells like. <laughs> it smells like toffles, the the toffee sweet. No, hang on. It's a bit minty. It's, it's like a mint sweet. It's like, yeah, it's a minty sweet. I've never thought, if, you know, if someone says to me, what does Jabba's Palace smell like? Way down that list of things would be spearmint gum. I would never have said, yeah, it smells like spearmint gum. But it turns out I would have been incorrect. Because it does. So I'm going to light it. Give it a minute to do its stuff. To brew. To ferment. Whatever candles do. Um, and, and then we'll sniff it again in a minute. But it's definitely, so far, it's 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 spearmint gum. Wrigley's, Wrigley's fresh breath or something. I don't know. But some sort of minty, fresh taste. Not toffles, which is my original reaction. I don't know. I haven't eaten toffles in about... 30 years. I don't know if toffles even exist anymore. Um, they were like a little kind of individual toffee sweets and they were nice, but um, maybe there was a minty one. Mint toffles. If that wasn't a thing, it should have been, because that's what it smells like. Mint toffles. Uh, if such a thing exists. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's. But anyway, on to other matters. The audiobook for Snowball's Chance in Hell, the ninth Yep, the ninth J.D. Kirk book, um, ninth DCI Logan book even, uh, came out yesterday. It's now available on Audible for audio fans. You can go um, find it on there. If you go to, I can't remember the link, just go to Audible and, and search for J.D. Kirk. J.D. Kirk Snowball, and that should should get you where you need to go. Um, I wanted to talk briefly today about quite an interesting thing that I've seen. Um, on Amazon.com, there are the top two reviews for A Litter of Bones. 
both express um, dismay uh, at uh, animal cruelty. At um, they they both claim that there is vivid depictions of prolonged cat torture in a litter of bones. And I couldn't remember, but I, I mean, I knew there was reference to um, cats being harmed and killed, quite integral to the plot. Um, and I, so I look back and, and I, I haven't seen the vivid depictions of prolonged cat torture, but these people seem to have um, conjured that up in their, their own imaginations, um, which is which is interesting. No one has ever complained about the human being torture or human being murder that goes on throughout the books for some reason, but uh, I don't know, that's fine. Um, and even the fact that in, in the first book, um, the, the, the threat of cat torture or the implication of cat torture is used to psychologically torture a kidnapped child. And nobody has an issue with that, but they are concerned that this cat is going to have a rough time of it. So I don't, it, it seems to me people are far more protective of animals than they are of other human beings, including children, which I think is, is fascinating stuff, really. I don't, I don't quite know why that is, why that might be. That, but, but yeah, the top two reviews on Amazon um, are, are warning people to stay away because cats get, get tortured. So, you know, there we go. That's an interesting little thing, I thought. Um, other interesting little thing is I got I got myself a new I kind of want to say decoration for the office but it's toys I got myself new toys I got um got uh, from the Goonies I got Chunk out of the Goonies and um, uh, Sloth out of the Goonies I've got these guys uh, so so they're now sitting watching me work which is nice it also comes with some some little accessories it comes with. Uh, including the uh, the statue where um, where Trunk glues the penis on upside down, um, which is which is cool. It's broken off in this in this statue. Actually, it's, bro- it's, it's broken off. But um, there we go. Uh, so yeah, got got myself that for the office. Um, but anyway, enough waffling. I seem to be in a waffling mood today. Let us extinguish the candle. Jabba's palace. See if the smell has changed. See if it now gives us exotic drug stain. Rather than Wrigley Spearmint gum. Nope. Still very minty. Very minty. It smells very clean. I mean, it smells far cleaner than, than I would imagine. Or far cleaner than Jabba's Palace is portrayed. I mean, it's got, that's literally got a pit in the floor where they throw scraps of food to a monster. But that smells minty fresh. Like a... Like a... Oh, I know what it's like, actually. It's like Bongella gel. You know that? That's what it becomes... When you light it, it's become Bongella. You know that stuff you put on, like, if you get... I don't know what you put it on for. Wasp stick? I don't know what it's for. <laughs> What's Bongella gel for? Is it for mouths? Is it for gum? I don't know what it's for. Bongella gel? I know what it smells like. And it smells like Jabba's Palace. Um, so there we go. That's the smell of Jabba's Palace. If you want to replicate the smell of Jabba's Palace, eat some chewing gum and and half a tub of Bongella gel. Or a tube. Or whatever format Bongella gel comes in. I've now said Bongella gel more than I've said any other words, I think, in, in the English language. So that's Jabba's Palace. That is day three of our... Um, Return of the Jedi candlelighting extravaganza. Next up is Ewok. Orange, you know, so it's whatever colour orange is. Um, but we'll see. I'm not going to smell it. It's covered up by plastic, so I can't smell it yet. Um, but we'll see. Looking forward to that. Uh, it might surprise us again. Maybe, you know, Ewok smell of, I don't know, fucking mustard. I don't know what's an Ewok smell like. I mean, I, I just I can't get past wet dog. Um, that's what I think an Ewok smells like. A damp dog um, drying in a, a bush. I don't know. that. I mean, what does an Ewok smell like? That's one of the big questions that will be answered shortly. Um, could be anything though, couldn't it? We'll see. Time will tell. Anyway, I'm off to do some work. Um, I have waffled enough and I will, uh, I need to get, I definitely need to get a haircut. I'm looking at that and I mean, look at it. Look at it. Desperately need a haircut. 
if you can know anyone that does virtual haircuts that makes the hair just fall off, then then let me know. Um, but uh, not all of it. It was bald. That'd be that'd be crazy. But um, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, I hurt my back yesterday, and, and I'm on a lot of pain medication, so that might that might explain today's video. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm off and I will uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.